right, on today's video, we are at the Crawford County Sportsman's Club, and today we are out here to do the review on the Zulisi Oak Sea Green Dot. All right, this gun is clear. No mag, nothing in the chamber. This is the Zulisi Oak Sea, and this is a green dot with a green circle. And I will put the MOA of the dot and the circle at the bottom of the screen. Now we did a full unboxing video on this optic and we went over all the specs, everything that comes in the box, the dimensions, all that stuff was covered. So a lot of that stuff will not get covered today in the review video. Now, if you're asking about the gun that this is on, this is one of my Glock 19 Gen 3 clone builds that we're doing. Uh, we're actually doing a whole series on three different Gen 3 Glock clones that I'm putting together right now, and this is my FDE one. Um, obviously, the Oak C is RMR footprint, and uh, we have this mounted on a Steel City Arsenal slide that is direct milled for RMR. So basically what we're going to do today is we're going to shoot a couple groups with this optic, see how well it groups, and then we're going to shoot some USPSA targets, steel targets, and uh, try to get 200, 250 rounds shot with this today, and we're going to talk about the optic as the day goes on. All right, all the ammo we're going to be using in today's video will be my 125 grain Steel Valley Casting Reloads. Now, Steel Valley Casting is a friend of the channel, and if you're a reloader, head over to my website, go to the weekly deals section, you'll be glad you did. All right, we're all set up at 10 yards. We're going to shoot a couple 10-shot groups, load off the slide lock. Let's uh, shoot a group at the top right target. Alright, this gun is clear, no mag, nothing in the chamber. Let's talk about my first impressions with this dot. Um, it's very bright. It's got a nice, crisp green dot and green circle in it. And uh, all the Zulisi optics so far, even the red dots, have been very bright. They are not the brightest. Uh, Gideon does have a brighter green emitter than Zulisi does. Um, but the Zulisis are a lot brighter than some of the other brands. So far, I'm very happy with the dot. It's, it's a nice clean dot, clean circle, and plenty bright enough. And even when I put it on that green grass on the berms, no issues at all seeing the dot. All right, we got USPSA targets set up, steel targets set up. We're just gonna fire two rounds into each target and just transition back and forth. Gonna load off the slide lock. All right, here we go. All right, target on the left. Two alpha, all four hits on steel. Three alpha, one Charlie. Four alpha, we had all our hits on the steel. And alpha Charlie. Paste it up. Here we go. All right, two alpha. All four hits on steel. Three alpha, one Charlie. Three alpha, one Charlie. All four hits on steel. And two alpha. All right, this gun's clear, no mag, nothing in the chamber. Uh, let's talk about the window size, the glass, and all that on this optic. So the glass is plenty big enough. It's not the biggest optic, and it's definitely not the smallest. Um, it sits nice and low, and I have these suppressor height, true glow night sights on here, and I'm able to co it, and it's just perfect through the dot, so I'm real happy with that. I'm not getting any of that blue tint looking through the glass. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just about the perfect 
window size. Uh, zeroing this dot in, I didn't have any issues with that. Uh, took about four rounds to get it dead on right where I needed it. And uh, so far it's holding zero just fine. Um, the clicks are tactile enough. They're not real audible or anything like that. Um, if you're into the clicks, then there are ones out there that are more audible and more tactile than this optic, but uh, all the optics that we've reviewed from Zelisi, that has not been an issue. We have not had any of these dots lose zero yet. I uh, really like these buttons on here. They are flush, perfectly flush with the frame on the optic, on the plus and the minus. And uh, so if you're gonna be using this for a carry option and you're sliding this in and out of a holster, you're not gonna have an issue adjusting your brightness up and down. As far as if you wanna manually adjust your brightness up and down, um, they are very tactile clicks. You definitely know that you're adjusting your brightness up and down, but I do really like how they did the buttons on this. Like I said, they are perfectly flush with the optic. All right, we're all pasted up. Let's do it again. All right, target on the left, two alpha. Nice little tight group right there. All four hits on steel, four alpha. Three Alpha, one Charlie. And we only had three hits on steel. We had a miss and an Alpha Charlie. All right, this gun is clear, no mag, nothing in the chamber. My final thoughts on the Zelisi Oak C green dot with the green circle, I'm real happy with this optic. Um, we've talked about Zelisi before. Uh, Zelisi kind of falls in the price range of your top tier budget optics and your bottom tier budget optics. They're like right in the middle. Um, but their optics are, from what I can tell, one of the best budget options out there. Uh, most of your Zelisi optics are going to run you anywhere from 140 to about 190 beans. Um, so they're coming in cheaper than Siley and Gideon, but they are more expensive, say, than ADE or CV Life. But uh, these dots have proven to be quite reliable. This is fifth or sixth one I think we've reviewed on the channel now. We got about 300 rounds through this gun today because we're doing a review on the gun and on the optic and I am very happy with it. All right, there are a couple cons to this dot and one of those is, like I've said before, they are plenty bright. Their emitters, especially on their green, are very bright and they are bright enough even on this bright sunny day in Ohio with all the green on the backstops here on the berms and not having any issues with that. But it could be a little bit brighter green, but if you're gonna use a brighter emitter, that probably is gonna bring the price up and then these optics are gonna start costing about the same as Gideon or Siley. The other con is it is only a dot circle. This doesn't have a multi-reticle system. So it would have been really cool to see them do a multi-reticle where you could go from dot to circle or circle dot together, but back to that same thing, that's gonna drive the price of the optic up. So these are uh, fairly reasonable. I think this one here is running about 140 beans and uh, 
sometimes I have discount codes for these. And if I don't have one, there are other people out there on YouTube that do. So you can get these dots down pretty cheap. I want to thank Zalisi for sending it out to the channel. Hopefully we'll just keep doing work with Zalisi in the future because uh, I believe in their product. I think they, they make a great dot, especially for guys like me that just come to the range to plink around and shoot a competition once in a while. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.